Good down there? Okay. Last night I watched something unexpectedly inspiring, and that was the wonderful world of Disney's holiday magic... What was it? The wonderful world of Disney magical holiday celebration. It's a variety show, a live variety show that is uh, like kicks off the holiday season. It's on ABC and it was insanely good. Like a really, really underrated gem of television. Now I'm just gonna kind of compare it. So think about live broadcasts or shows sort of like the Super Bowl halftime show, the Oscars, or the Macy's Thanksgiving Day Parade. But this one, I have never seen anything that was pulled off with such fluid craftsmanship and attention to detail. Now, for those of you who don't know, Disney decorates their theme parks every year in preparation for one of the bu busiest times of year for them, which is the holiday season. And they deck out the parks with these unbelievable decorations, as you'd expect from Disney. And they do it all at night because they don't close their parks, so everything is set up overnight. It is a set. Everything is colored and visually spectacular. And the reason I mention that is because it's the foundation of what made this special so interesting to me. I have never seen anything shot for shot, frame for frame, so visually entertaining on TV that wasn't some kind of pre-conceived movie or television show. The fireworks were unbelievable. The sound, the audio, the, the production itself, when you think about the security detail, getting everybody in, blocking off those locations and shooting against such an incredible background, it's really uh, sets the stage for something that really no other production entity can touch. And Disney being such titans of entertainment, they really, do this so casually, but yet it's kind of untalked about. Why don't these get more attention? I mean, I know they're bland, they're dumb, they're boring, but from a production standpoint, they're incredible. Gather the whole family and get ready. It's the wonderful world of Disney magical holiday celebration. Now I'll begin by talking a little bit about the performances themselves. The actual acts were, in my opinion, somewhat forgettable just because it's kind of something you've seen over and over again. But the shots are, first of all, shot in 30 frames per second and not the typical broadcast 60, which sets it out in its own because it has a much more cinematic look. And you can tell that every shot has so much thought behind it. Every shot looks very purposeful and not just out of convenience or logistics. The sound is so well produced. Everybody talking sounds like they're talking on a sound stage. Thank you so much. Thank you guys, very Christmas. Thank you. Pentatonics really knows how to bring that holiday spirit. Everything is orchestrated so perfectly. And the way that it's edited, the switching that's done during this live broadcast to encapsulate the fireworks to go off right at the hits of the music, to accentuate this already colorful and insane background, utilizing the decorations that they already have in place as a backdrop for this performance and for this show is incredible. But I also have to pay note to some of the things that are kind of bland and boring about Disney. They're very good at advertising themselves. And when you look at subtly the way they script or the way they coach these stars and actors and hosts, they're really honing in at what they do best, which is generationally advertising with memories and promoting this idea of, you know, it's okay to go spend five grand on a vacation because your children will remember it for the rest of their lives and that's invaluable. They're also very careful to be not controversial. It's about the most bland thing you've ever seen in terms of nobody says anything that could even remotely be controversial. Oh my word. But that doesn't, in my opinion, take away from its artistic integrity in a way that is the art. The art is to do something that is so unimaginably appealing to such a large demographic, both age, income, ethnicity, everything. And they touched upon it perfectly. Their ability to incorporate Spanish speaking acts. also to promote their movies. All these movies and stories, they, they talk about our hopes and dreams and they teach us a lesson. I'm, I'm super happy, for example, about Encanto, this movie that I'm a part of. To promote their parks, to promote their merchandise. Absolutely spectacular. And so are these Minnie Mouse holiday cookies. I got them right over there. <laughs> 
Wait, are they as good as the cookies on your Great American Baking Show? Holiday edition premiering on ABC December 12th? Yes, hosted by me, Emma Bunsen. Oh, yes, they are. And I know about cookies. Right now, we're going to head over to our friend, Jesse Palmer at Disneyland Resort. And to promote this, you can call it fabricated sense of Disney being the loving, warm teddy bear, the loving, warm Mickey Mouse that you always have known and remembered it to be. The sets were incredibly visual. I mean, how many times have you ever seen an act perform on a floating stage in the middle of water? I mean, it was just unique. And the way they would bounce back and forth between Disney World and Disneyland, and their acts were ready to go, everything just hit off without a hitch, was a production wonder. As I was sitting and watching this, I was thinking to myself, how can you even pull off something live like this? How do you get the logistics to work? And then I saw this final act and realized, is it live? And when I went back to look at the behind the scenes, I noticed a few details, like there's a cameraman on the float. Now there's not a cameraman on the float. And then I started to think about, wait a second, if it's dark in Florida, and it's also dark in Disneyland, that means there's, there's a three hour time difference there. So the pieces started to form. And as I watched some more behind the scenes, I noticed various camera movements that are not live cameras, but actual recorded. And then it all started to make sense. Wait a second, this isn't live. This is an edited event. This is a, a product, this is a movie, this is a show. But I don't know if that necessarily makes me like it or appreciate it less. I mean, does it matter if it's live? Does it matter if they had to do several takes to get each performance to look exactly the way they want, to be able to get the cameras, to be able to pair up the exact reaction shots? I mean, does that matter? Because I was watching it very intently and I was watching it looking for clues to their production logistics and I didn't, it, it, they, they hid everything from me so well until the very end when it was very obvious they weren't trying to hide the edits at the end that was a artistic choice they were rubbing it in my face i just think the day after the super bowl everybody talks about the production of of the super bowl events the day after the oscars everyone talks about it the, the day after the wonderful world of the wonderful world of disney magical holiday celebration Who's talking about that? And I think that was the most impressive televised event I've seen, uh, arguably in my life, at least from a production standpoint. You know, say what you want about the entertainment, but production-wise, it's incredible. Disney is so astounding at what they do, what they do so well, what they do so casually. This is just yet another throwaway blank check entertainment investment that helps them promote and oil up their ever-cogging giant economic machine. Now, here's what I will say. Now, Disney has room and they are at fault for many, I think, very valid criticisms. However, in a world where we spend lots of money on tangible items that break or disappear or get a certain amount of enjoyment out of them, is it really so bad? Even if it's done somewhat ingenuinely, is it really so bad for a company to be promoting actual real life experiences, actual memories? Because say what you want, some of my greatest childhood memories as a kid were at Disneyland. And whether how much money they spend, how many lawyers they own, how much they might screw over small artists, they gave me something that's actually pretty invaluable, which is memories with my family. And from a consumer standpoint, I enjoy that far more than the iPhone in my pocket or the camera you're watching this on because those are irreplaceable. And uh, as bad as you might call Disney, which is fair, I think that, I don't know, it's better than Apple, right? Was that a good line? Hold on, let me give you a couple different. I don't know. It's better than McDonald's, right? Better than healthcare. It's better than Walmart. Better than Subway. It's better than the election. You just figure out, use one of those. 
I'm losing light. I can see it. All right. What was that? Would that take 15 minutes? All right, not bad for a single take. 